there are many kinds of dragons that exist in the imagination. They have become the archetypal symbols in our mind of the things that cause us fear, doubt, and confusion. That use our own delusions against us, attempting to cause destruction and despair. This is an ancient storm dragon, called Chaos. This one has been very destructive in my life. It ends today. They are now the hunted. For this dangerous mission, I am wearing my shining armor, quite literally. It was gifted to me by an eccentric enchantress designed for this very quest. I need to carry both sword and shield, so I will not be able to carry a torch or lantern. As she presented me with the armor, she said, this will brighten your path through the shroud of shadows and give you clarity over the clouds of confusion. You are protected from all attacks, in the physical and the spiritual, so that the light may be victorious and bring peace to the realm. She then told me that, to reach the top of the mountain, the lair of the storm dragon, I must go through the mountain. Here we go. Okay, just one step at a time, Mira. There, I've crossed the threshold. Yeah, guess I'm really doing this. I am going to slay a dragon. There is no map, because this place is an illusion. I must trust my inner guidance. My path is lit up. Anything else is a distraction. A delay. This serpentine creature is a naga. Untrustworthy snakes. They would turn on each other to save themselves. Ahem. Fake. This place shifts and changes like a dream. Am I still inside the mountain? It feels more like I'm very deep inside my own mind. This dragon is a great challenge in my life. Fulfilling this personal quest will bring me peace of mind and great wealth in body and spirit. The Dragon's Horde This area makes me feel a little disoriented. Seems like, if I stay in one place for too long, confusion begins to take hold. Hmm. Who know? Come on, got to keep moving. energy here is quite intense. Very chaotic. Ah. Uh, it just feels wrong. Such powerful energy could have been used to great and good purpose, but instead, it seems to have been corrupted for creating storms and causing destruction. So careless and wasteful. But do not despair. There are many of us who have awakened to our purpose and taken on our quests. And as we chase away the darkness of the world, all these sorrows will diminish and fade away from our hearts. We will be free. Yes, this is the way. I can feel it. I'm getting very close. 
Yes, there is a cavern here. I know this is the place, and yet now, I hesitate. Shit. Don't stop now, Mira. There is no going back. I can do this. Courage, you have everything you need. Damn it. All right. I admit it, Dragon. You shook me up really badly. And yes, I wanted to run. But you took my kindness for weakness and my good nature for stupidity. And you don't write the story of my life. It is mine. And I take back my power. All of it. Ready or not, here I come. Actually, yes. What the fuck? I felt that. Oh. Woo. Something isn't right. Why am I seeing double? Oh. Shit. Which one? Fight them both. Damn you, double dragons. I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Great. Great. Shit. 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 Why can't I hit you? Oh, no. Getting a bit dizzy. Really? Foggy thoughts. Wake up now. Focus on the battle. Swing. Your sword. Raise. Your shield. Splinter in my mind. You cannot escape me. You are mere moments from your downfall. And you know it. I will not back down. I am Mira. Time for this to end.
illusions. You keep me confused. No more. You cloud my perception. No more. You block my heart when I'm flowing. Dim my lights when I'm shining. Stall my progress when I'm moving. No more. It is over. Defeating your dragon. It is the death of the part of you that holds you back from your personal power. It is a victory over your mind that frees you from your own illusions and helps you to see clearly your authentic self, your true purpose and your role to play in the world. Happy hunting, my warriors.